I'm Adrian Vera with GoNU.TV, and we're here with our very own Matt Janning. Matt, it's so nice to have you back here on campus. How is it for you? It's good. It's always nice coming back, seeing everybody, being able to see the guys. Now, you were here um, practicing with the Bulls in Chicago, is that right? Yeah, I had a, a workout with the Bulls. They brought in a few guys to take an extra look at, um, hoping something happens with that. but. Kind of got to go on with my season until that. Right. And your season home base is in Texas. You're playing for the Rio Grande Valley Vipers? Yep. Yep. So how has that been for you? It's good. Um, I like the, the situation I'm in. We're one of the better teams in the, the D-League. Mm -hmm. um, coaches are good. The organization is good. So top to bottom, yeah, I think it's a good fit. And before, I know last summer you played for the Celtics um, Summer League in Orlando. Mm -hmm. How was that? Um, playing with like Doc Rivers and, you know, it was fun. Doc was there. Uh, he was definitely there watching. He came to our mm -hmm. practices before we even started playing games. Um, so it was kind of it was fun having him around and kind of talking to us. And then you did the Suns summer league too, and they noticed you because you got picked up by them. Yeah. And that must have been an awesome experience. I mean, you're being in the NBA. Yeah, it was it was good. I, I had a, a good summer as far as you know, all my draft workouts and then the two summer leagues, and then the Suns ended up signing me. And I stuck there for for 10 games, and then you know stuff happens, and you move on. And I'm sure you learn a lot. I mean, you're playing with big guys, Grant Hill, you know, Turkaloo at the time, Steve Nash. What did you learn from those guys? Yeah, you, it's you learn a lot, and it's it's hard to kind of take it all in sometimes because I try to watch Steve and Grant pretty much every day I was there, just trying to see how they attack each day. I mean, in the end, it's just basketball. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you just go out there and play. You're the top third leading scorer in the Husky history. And, mm -hmm. you know, Chase just broke the top ten. So, yep. uh, how do you feel about you know, having another Husky that you've played with, like, it's good. do really well? It's good. He, he's having, <clears throat> you know, another good year. He's had a good career. And you know, he's got, I always tell him, I say, you know, don't worry, you guys are struggling a little bit, wins and losses wise, but you got a lot of basketball to play, so. Mm -hmm. He's he's going to be playing for, for a lot of years, and you know, I hope they finish up the season well. Yeah, absolutely. Do you have any other words of wisdom for your fellow teammates or anybody else that's trying to get into the league? Just got to keep playing, keep practicing, and just always, always play at a high level. So what's next for you? What can we look out for for you? Um, you know, I'll be with uh, the Rio Grande Valley team down in McAllen, Texas. Um, you know, the D-League's all for getting called up to an NBA team. Exactly. So. I and mean, that's, that's the ultimate goal. Well, we really appreciate you coming by, Matt. Thank you so much. And we wish you the best of luck with the rest of your season. And we're all rooting for you. Thank you.